Yeah, so. the history there is amazing. I went on a ghost tour and I got a photo of a ghost. Wait, what? I got a photo of a ghost. Oh my God. I, showed the, I was like, this is a ghost, right? Tell us a little bit about your characters. What can we even say? <laughs> what can we say? What can um, we say? I played Detective Bridget O'Reilly and she's just arrived to New Orleans at the beginning of episode two where she's introduced from uh, New York. And she becomes a authority figure that Tandy and Tyrone can trust. That's all I'm going to say. I play Father Delgado, who has a mentor friendship relationship with Tyrone. And Tyrone can come to me and we can talk and we just, we, we really vibe as friends. He's got a little bit of a darkness in there, though, too, right? Yes, am I supposed to? <laughs> <Don't we laughs> if, if I can say, yeah. I think what makes Father Delgado really special is that we see the human side of him and just, you know, putting on the cloth and saying, hey, this is who I am, but I'm not perfect, and this is what I'm going through. So I think characters will, will kind of dig that. And how familiar were you guys with this particular comic property? I wasn't at all. Yeah, and I didn't know what I was even auditioning for. Originally, they just say Untitled Marvel Project, but I'm a fan of Marvel, so I was like, okay, yes, please. And then I found out when I was testing um, what it was and, and kind of like, schooled myself. Yeah, the day before the test, I kind of, then I realized, oh, it's a Marvel thing, because I just, I kind of signed the NDA blindly, and I was like, oh, it's another audition, <laughs> NDA, here we go, you know? <laughs> so I was a little bit aloof about everything, but when I got there, I was like, oh, this is for Marvel. Okay, cool, but um, I think it was the writing was so well done that I was like, this is, Marvel, this, it's just so grounded, super cool. And it's a lot darker than I expected it to be. Us too. <laughs> we were like, oh, free form. We kind of, I guess, expected it to be a little more lighter. And then yeah. when you would read the script and every week, you're like, oh my God, this is getting darker and deeper. And yeah, I'm really proud of, proud of it and the issues that it tackles and the things that it talks about. I think it's really yeah. important. Especially like, I think, cause like you hear ABC, fan, it was ABC family, yeah. you hear the word family. But in my head, because you know, I, I grew up like in the 90s and stuff like that, so I was like, oh, you weren't supposed to talk about these things with your family? But now it's free form, and these are the things you are supposed to talk about with your family. So I think the world's shifting for the better, and we're allowed to talk about these things that before we're like, you know. Yeah. Brush yeah. it under the rug. Yeah. No, it's yeah. pretty cool. I mean, there's discussion about white privilege and what it's like to be a young black man in America now, and it was pretty impressive. Um, so. Tell me a little bit about shooting in New Orleans. The food. Oh, Not good amazing. for me. Amazing. Good for him. Not <laughs> me. Yeah. I'm a vegan and it was very problematic. <laughs> no, it's very it's very hard to eat there. I know mm -hmm. some veggies, so. Okay, yay. Yeah, it's, there's one vegan restaurant there. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the city is extraordinary. It looks amazing on film as well. It's kind of like its own other character in the show. and. Everywhere you look, it's like, oh, there you can do a great shot. There, I mean, it just it looks amazing. You can walk around the French Quarter for hours and just be yeah. entertained and like enthralled the whole time. The history is amazing. The music's incredible. I would jo I jog, and so I jog at night. I love, it's like my thing. I love jogging at night. So I'd be jogging at night sometimes, and I'd be like, oh man, I'm on the set of a movie right now, and just like kind of like I would trip all the time too because there's all these cracks on the floor, and it's <laughs> yeah, like it's true, so actually. old that you kind of just like appreciate that. So it was like, in like one corner you turn and then like, oh, this, it said like this building was made in like, you know, 1703 or something like that. And I was like, I really appreciate that. Yeah, so, the history there is cool. amazing. I went on a ghost tour and I got a photo of a ghost. Wait, what? I got a photo of a ghost. Oh my God. I showed that I was like, this is a ghost, right? I took like two photos back to back and one had this crazy glowing orb in the next one. No, and there was nothing in the window afterwards when I looked. So yeah, I got a photo yeah. of a ghost. I have no ghost story, but where I did live, <laughs> where we moved to these, like, while I was staying, um, it was like all this, like, new appliance kind of building or whatever, and I told someone where I was living, and they go, oh, you live in the old blah, blah, blah department store. Did you know that was haunted? And I was like, that's why I can't sleep at night. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so, uh, aside from the ghosts, um, were there pranksters on set? I did one really lame prank. What'd you do? It's so dumb. You're gonna be like, why are you talking about this? Well, they had like a hot dog machine and somebody put a label maker on it and was like, these are not vegan. And I made a label that said, vegans are awesome. <laughs> that was my prank. Label making prank. <laughs> Did you do any? No pranks, but the, but the producers have a great sense of humor and kind of my sense of humor. So that's kind of cool. And you know, you can kind of give little jabs to each other once in a while. That was fun. And 
I have this one serious scene where I was kind of breaking down and I don't want to reveal too much, but as I'm about to like, I'm breaking down and I'm putting on my outfit in this particular way, they were all laughing because I was putting it on the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even call cut, they just wanted me to finish.